today's scripture, we are given John's beautiful poetic witness to the incarnation of God in the person of Jesus. God entering into our world in human flesh over 2,000 years ago as a vulnerable baby needing milk and care and love. Though darkness surrounded that holy night when Jesus was born, the light of a new star shone brightly in the sky celebrating his birth. God as giver, bringing hope to our often dark world. The celebration of waiting in Advent is a celebration of waiting in hope that God came into this world to be a light to it, all of it. All of the stuff of our material world can be where, as St. Ignatius of Loyola put it, we can find God in all things. In the Gospel of John, it states that all things came into being through him. All is blessed because what God made is good. From all living creatures to the cosmic dust from which we are composed can become, can become as theologian Elizabeth Johnson writes, a sacrament that can reveal divine presence. In place of spiritual contempt for the world, we ally ourselves with the living God by loving the whole natural world, part of the flesh that the word became. As a spiritual director who leads persons on directed retreats at Ignatius House, I can't tell you how many times a retreatant has had a transformative experience of God while being in nature on the grounds along the our grounds along the Chattahoochee River. Whether it is just watching the waterfall rush down the stream by the statue of the resurrected, resurrected Jesus, or seeing a deer standing shyly at the edge of the woods, or pondering the river, gently moving forward, the gift of grace enters into their prayer, giving hope and light. I'm sure you've had similar experiences of being in nature. I know I have. Our generous God as giver brings gift. We are called as children of God to cherish that vulnerable gift with love and care. Today on the Feast of St. Nicholas, we celebrate the generosity, the spirit of generosity in the real life historical bishop of the ancient Greek town of Myra in present day Turkey. It is, as you know from him, that we get the legend of Santa Claus. Nicholas was known for his generosity, kindness, and concern for his fellow human beings. There is a joy in giving and receiving generously. I invite you today on this feast day and during the holiday season to hold and pray for a spirit of generosity and childlike hope, even in the darkness, that a beautiful star is shining brightly, leading the way to new life in Christ for you and for our natural world.